Okay, look at question number three here. It says function f of x undergoes a single transformation to create function g of x. The graphs of both f of x and g of x are shown. And you can see clearly, okay, first of all, that these are parabolas, which means that they are quadratic equations. So the basic quadratic equation has an x squared term in it. So say f of x equals x squared. And if you study these, if you were to graph um, y equals x squared, and then you would immediately after that graph y equals x squared plus 2, let's watch and see what happens. So you've hopefully studied this already, but if you haven't, I want you to know that you have access to this calculator right here during your testing. And so if you pull the calculator up and you go to the graphing mode and you enter in one of the Y menus, enter the X variable squared. And then in the next one, let's do the X variable squared, but tack on a plus two. And so if you go to look at the graph of this, what you'll see is that this is what happens. Okay, this first graph right here this is f of x equals or y equals x squared. And the one that's above it here, this is y equals um, x squared plus 2. So, so we can see it in this one example and you'll find, again, if you take any equation, no matter what quadratic equation it is, if you tack on a plus 2 to that equation, what will happen is wherever the graph was sitting originally, that curve is going to immediately move up two units. That's because all of the y values, the y-axis values, are going to be two greater than what they were originally. So back to our question here. The uh, question, which I hadn't read yet, was create g of x in terms of f of x. So the gist of this is that function g of x is three units. Okay, the vertex of the first of f of x is down here, and what's happened is that vertex has moved up exactly three units. So we could describe function g of x by calling it function f of x. It's the same graph, except everything is moved up three units. So f of x plus three. And that is all you would need to do for that. And that's, again, for any vertical change, you can just take the original graph and add three. If it had been three units below, you would do minus three. So that's it for that one.